You know, the Word of God talks about in the last days, there will be evil. And evil is going to get stronger and stronger. And I wonder how many of us are ready to combat the evil that is now here on the earth and the evil that is about to be unleashed. You know, you say, well, what kind of evil are you talking about? Well, wars, rumors of wars, right? The evil of wars, the evil of increased sin, you know, which includes all of those things that we think about sin encompasses, you know? We see more mass shootings. We see, you know, uh, more children who are being taken advantage of. You know, we see all sorts of calamity. We don't have to really go down through the list, but it's real. And I wonder how many of us would be able to, in the time that all of these things begin to, you know, unfold in front of us, will we have the relationship with the Lord the kind that when he says to move, you move. When he says you stay, you stay. When he says, I will provide for you, I will provide for you. Do you have that relationship with him? You know, I think about in the Bible, how many times God provided for his people. He did, you know. And in that provision though, there was also an instruction that God would give. If you don't have the type of relationship with the Lord that can hear the instructions, can move at the split second that he tells you to, you're gonna be left wanting. And I wanted to stop by and encourage you today because a lot of people, unfortunately, you know, that call themselves Christians are in a sleeping state. You say, well, what is a sleeping state? A state of slumber, a state of where you've almost forgotten about your first love, which is Jesus Christ. And in that forgetting about your first love, you don't spend the time you used to with him. You don't even fast, you don't pray, you don't read his word. You're not challenged to live a better life to live one that is pleasing to the Lord because you've become complacent and you've been lulled to sleep. So I wanted to try to shake you awake today. You know, when I say shake you awake, I mean shake you awake in the spirit. Shake your spirit man awake. Come back to the things of God. Come back to the things that were important, which was your first love which is Jesus Christ. And as you are doing that, you're going to be positioning yourselves for a greater relationship with him, which is one that will be able to hear him when he says to move. As evil increases, we're not going to have time for a text or a telegram sent to us. You know, when calamity strikes, it sh will strike suddenly. And in that suddenly, where will you be? Listen, God is making decisions. And I think we all know that, right? We do. We do in our heart. We do. And as he makes these decisions, what is your decision? What are you deciding out there? Where are you going with your decisions? Because at the end of the day, it's all up to you. He's already made the way for us. He's already made the way for provision and protection. But what are we doing with the way and the provision he's made for us? If we can't hear him, we won't know how to move. So I challenge you today. Get back to your first love, because in doing so, you will be able to hear God, not only for your behalf, 
but for the behalf of your loved ones. In Jesus' name.